instinto nos decía Esa noche juntico no quería Y las ganas de vernos quemaría Pero no fue así Vamos lenta ya Que si nos apuramos no disfrutamos de el momento Ya lo vamos a arruinar Dale lento ya Dile a tus amigas que hoy no vas para afuera Que estás en la escuela Y vamos a jugar Ella sabe que quiero a mi mamacita Ella también quiere que seamos felices Ella que se apresura la puertica Ella, 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 ella es intimidez Como la ve, no le importa dónde y cuándo No hay nada, no es yo, no soy el que la manda Nunca lo seré, su carácter no es de niña Que la puede controlar cualquiera Ni me cuenta, yo lo sé Independiente Vamos lento y verá Ni me cuenta, yo lo sé Sabes que no es, te doy el desquite, que me quites todas esas ganas que te tengo en tu huerto. Todo el mundo sabe que tú y yo somos más que panas, pero nos vamos lento, que el que se apura no llega a nada, no llega a nada, no llega a nada. Ni me cuenta, yo lo sé, independiente, vamos lento y verá. just met you but you know oh girl you blow my mind and i know what i would like to do but you just keep on talking i see your dog needs walking your folk drive you insane i know yeah that's true of course you ain't the one to blame keep on talking to me keep on telling me talking to me but I just wanna see you move 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 sure I like to listen it's not like I don't wanna know it's just that you've been talking wanna see you move They tell good lies, don't they? I'm single by choice. 
I'm still a fine. I can get any man I want to. Uh Yeah, I'm 38, but I still look good. My eggs ain't old. Excuse me, sir, that's rude. Of course I've dated a man worth something. Well, the first one, you know, it it didn't come out till later on, but he was really not on my, he was not, his business wasn't together, you know. But it took me like a year to figure that out. But nothing big. Then the second one, oh, well, he just wanted a bunch of, he was wild. You know, he acted like because he was a high earning alpha male, he should have his choice of beautiful feminine sexual companions as a single man. I mean, he expected to be able to go have his pick. He needed to commit to me before I was his wife. Mm hmm. You know, see, that's the problem when you are an attractive, educated, intelligent woman. Ain't nobody out here on my level. All these dudes is dusty. They dusty beta male uh, suckers. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I don't care what you talk about some wall. I refuse to let anybody put a value on me but me. I know my value. I know my worth. No, I don't have a wedding ring and I've never had anyone propose to me, actually. But I know I'm Bentley worth. (laughs) Why? Because I'm going to manifest it. Didn't you hear B. Simone? Didn't you hear B. Simone? She said I could manifest it. She said all I had to do was manifest it. Because you know... Because that's what she said. All you got to do is want to manifest it. You know, think better, get big better. You know, come on, you can do it. Black don't cry. <laughs> Cause I'm single by choice. Everybody in this chat room want me. All you dudes in here, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Yo mama black. Who hurt you? Yo mama black. <laughs> we gave birth to you. You can't do, we are equals. You're not superior to me. We are equals. We need each other. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, that's why I'm a six or seven at best, but I'm over 30, really. I'm not over 30. I'm like 35, but I look in the mirror. Well, not really 35. I was 35 two birthdays ago. So for, for, for real, for real, I'm 37, but I say for play, I'm 34 so I don't have to feel like I'm having them down syndrome, little kids, you know. So, you know, no offense to them. Beep that out. Uh, so uh, what it really is, is because, you know, black don't crack and cause I'm a part-time vegan and a part-time pescatarian, but I like Popeyes on Tuesdays. See, what it is, is I still physically am about the same dress size I was when I was 25 and because I don't wrinkle like everybody else, I still physically look like 25. Now, if you touch me, my muscle tone ain't the same as it was at 22 or 23, but you know, over there, you know, over there, over there, it look good. So when I look at myself, I'm in this dress size four. So I feel like I'm just as good as Sugar P and all these other little tenders up in the chat room who listening to you saying, "Mm mm-hmm, I don't want to grow up to be like that or my mom and them. I don't want no part of being mama or nene or or auntie Pam. I love them all, but ain't none one of them happy. They miserable. Ooh, I don't want to be them. So I got to run to the other side of town or the other side of the country. I got to leave the time zone to avoid being like my auntie Nim. So you, I feel like I'm like these girls around here. So honestly, 
there's really no reason a high value man like the guys over here who I could have kicked it with, you know, back in the days when I really was like firm and had like, you know, fresh eggs and stuff like that. But I always kind of told him I didn't deal with a blue collar dude or something like that. You really wasn't on my level because you was just nine to five or whatever. So now that I really figured out what the, what high value means, there's really character and not money. But you do need to have three hundred thousand so I can sit my 40 year old ass down at home, even though I can only give maybe one kid at best. Does this sound like anything that comes out? of a reasonable person's mouth. I don't even know what's going on in the chat room and I was just free flowing. And guess what? I could have went another five minutes and not repeated a damn thing. Why is that? Because I've heard it all from you ladies. Heard it all from you. Heard it, heard it, heard it. I've been listening to it for the last 20 plus years. Since 1989, University of Oklahoma, Delta Sigma Theta had a black love relationship summit. Been hearing it since then, since we was at the Bronco Bowl and having poetry slams and hearing how many brothers ain't, ain't crap and ain't no good men out here. Y'all all, all gay on the down low. Or, you know, if you do make money, you want to have 50, 11 million. Yeah, it's always, see, you know, I'm single by choice. What? Married? I'm, I would never get married. I'm a PhD. Juxtapose that. Funny, huh? Funny how that all happens. Well, I said the other day we was going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Because what has happened in this time frame is unlike any other period in history, there is actually a response back from the men. There's a response back from data. And everything is pointing to where there's only one group of people in this country who's really having a problem getting anybody to be with them. There's only one group. One group ranks among all of them. And here's the funny thing. Since everybody want to culturally appropriate and be like you with your cute, sexy self, Mm -hmm. everybody want your lips and your hips and your honey dips and all this other kind of stuff because you can show get because they still calling me they still in my inbox uh-huh huh. one question why are you 30 attractive unmarried and single as uh why why are you that now i want to ask anybody in the chat room this has at least Four functioning brain cells. One, two, three, four. Just four of them. You don't even need a full five. You can have four functioning brain cells. What attractive, over 30-year-old woman who could really land a high-value man wants to sit out here and go compete in this rat race every day? Hmm. Who? Why? Men don't even want to get out here and work the way we do. We do it because that's part of what we are, but we don't want to have to, but we accept it because that's our role. The vast majority of women don't have careers. You got jobs, but yet you're over your 35 plus with a average or middling career at middling job at best but yet you don't want to give that job up to rely on judge dre because that scares me I, I i want a i want a provider male but yet i want him to act like a beta male and be a partner see i want him to go out and do all the work and but because i can possibly have him one kid he should just let me do things the way I want to do it. It's not working. None of this is working. I came at this from a, I didn't know how I was going to start this conversation, honestly, because it's loaded. But all I got to ask you is one question. Damn me. 
forget what I have to say. Forget what any guy has to say. Forget what anybody on any side other than Steve Harvey and Derek Jackson and them folks. Forget everybody except what those guys are telling you. What's next? How's that working out for you? What's next? Because now you are single by choice. I accept it. You're single by choice. You're single by choice. Can you not be single? Oh, can you not be single? To all the women who say I'm single by choice. I need to know your uh, height, weight, dress size, and shoe size before you ask me any questions. For any woman that has something to say, I'm going to need to know your height, weight, dress size, shoe size. And I need to see a picture of you also because some of y'all be lying. I can hear the cholesterol in your voice. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I want to know. What's next? What is next? Because women who say they're single by choice implies that if they decided they want to, they can go land a Blake Henry. Because let's be real. You don't want blue Henry. You don't want the blue collar man. Knock it off. You'll take him if he came along, but he'd have to look like Shamar Moore dipped in uh wesley snipes chocolate you you'll take him but you don't want him because you know you're you're secretly better than those guys who work with their hands and sweat for a living so you 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 don't want those so what you really want is you want you know kareem akbar the uptown brother from the bank you know all right but you're single by choice Can you make that happen right now? Would you believe how many women I've had in my chat room talking about, I'm, I got this man. I got that man. I'm dating this guy and I'm dating that guy. And I'm like, girl, do you realize I can see you? I mean, you do realize I can see you when your face takes up the avatar. Knock it off, sis. You're not single by choice. Your choices have made you single, but you're not single by choice. Why do we know you're not single by choice? Because you keep dragging yourself over here to argue in these comment sections. And I'm good with it. I make it a space to where you can come do that. I even make it a space to where you can talk to me. I'm not roasting you. I keep it the same with guys, but we got to talk about Mid thirties, single, attractive women. And the problem that's going on here, she says she's single by choice. Does anybody know a woman who's like this single by choice, mid thirties and attractive. Who's a happy person. Yeah, I know Amelia, they hate Amelia. Does anybody know a mid thirties attractive? I'm single by choice woman who's happy, pleasant to be around a joy. Go ahead. Raise your hands high. Raise your hands high. Pump, pump, pump it up. Raise them up high. We should have hands going up. What? Roscoe, you don't know a single one that's 35 plus attractive and single by choice that's not happy? Man, come on, bro. You got to be kidding me. Roscoe lying to me, ain't he? Is he lying to me? Somebody got to be lying to me. <laughs> why am I, why are you talking about this Kevin? I thought I I thought I liked you. 
I thought I liked you. Now you over here dragging us. You dragging us. You dragging us. He dragging us. Shout out to Mr. Jeb. He dragging us. He dragging us. Not really. Not really. What I want to know is if you claim to be single by choice, can you choose to not be single? That's all I want to know. And if you can, why haven't you? That's it. That's all I want to know. Because unlike when I was growing up, men had to sit under the fact that said a third of these guys were in jail and undereducated, unemployed, and gay, down low. Well, all those things have been dispelled. The world can see with their own two eyes now that a lot of things they've been told about Keith Henry just is not true. This is why women, you know, uh, this is why white women are coming to run and take your men. Because I could say non-black women, but let's let's cut to the, today, today we're going to just go ahead and just both barrels. You don't really care about a, an Asian woman getting with a black man. You don't care about Hispanic woman getting with a black man. You don't care about a Middle Eastern woman getting a black man. You, you care about a white woman getting with a black man. Especially one that's making 300 plus thousand dollars a year. Because that's one that you don't want to get away. But the question is, why did he get away? Well, he's, he hates himself. He wants to be a white man. He culturally, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always something negative with him. Right. But you're single by choice and you and you so fine. And you so attractive. And you so educated and you so driven. And you got so much that you ain't willing to give up none of that. All the stuff you got, uh, whatever it is you got, you're not willing to give any of that up. You know, you're single by choice. Why can't you get him? Why can't you get him? Oh, hold on. You don't want him. He's corny. He's lame. He's, he's, he's a goofy. Okay, then why can't you get anybody else? How come you can't get Brad, Lee, Ahmed, Enrique? Oh, you don't like those. Okay, why can't you get a brother from the continent? Why are you single AF? If you single by choice. Uh Uh-oh. Well, let's get into it. We got uh, 587, 557 people in here watching. We need to get the likes up. We got uh, 179 people liking. I know I came in cooking. I came in cooking with both grills. I know. Let me me take a step back. Let me woosah. Let me woosah. And we're going to get the likes up. And we're going to need at least 10 people to throw something in the pot. Because here's what I want you ladies to talk about tonight. I don't want you to insult the men. I don't want you to get mad at me, even mad at me. I don't want you to talk about what what was wrong. With, no, no, no. I want you to give the younger women. I want you to get a women under 35 who still got a chance at being happy. I want you to give them some advice. That's what I want you to do. I want you to talk to the women that are under you and give them some advice. Tell them what they should do in order not to not be single. Single though, it's a choice for you. See, it's a choice for you. So that means you can choose not to be it. You just choose not to. Well, the younger women are saying they don't want to be single. So here's what you do. I need you ladies who are single by choice to tell them what they need to do to not be single by the time they're your age. Seems pretty fair, right? Seems pretty fair, right? If you type in all caps or whatever, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut out. See? Forget the men. The men don't count. We're all lame. We're all, we're all, we're all a bunch of weirdos. You know, we don't like our mamas. We don't, you know... You know, our mama ain't black. You know, somebody hurt us. All those things. You know, all those things. Okay. Don't talk to us. 
Talk to the young ladies. Tell them what they need to do. Let's get them up. Let's get them up. And in the meantime, while you're getting them up, let's go to the intermission because we need some more likes. Tiffany, what's going on? L boy, what's up? He said, be humble and sit down. Because I know what to tell them. Not only do I know what to tell them, I'm directing them to guys. That ain't even my job. But you go over in my group, you got plenty of beautiful young women sitting over there like this, smiling. And you got brothers over there who are certified CIA, Blue Henry, Blake Henry, Hit Squad. Just over there making this, this, it's just like the best parts of the Bible. No, you can't come. You can't come because you single by choice. And you know, this ain't for you. Cause you wouldn't like it over there. Cause there are a bunch of lame, weirdo, goofy dudes who, you know, who, who, who somebody hurt them. And it's a bunch of weirdo guys whose mamas are black. Uh, and were birthed by their black, black mama. So you don't want to be around these people who are networking and exchanging information and doing business together. And you, you, you don't want to go over there where you click on this page in the morning and people are actually smiling, looking good as people of color, just smiling, looking like getting out in the world. I mean, you go over there and you see women with, you know, actual soft features and look genuinely happy. It's fake. You don't want to go over there. So I don't want to insult your intelligence because it's not possible. It's not possible. All these guys are just trash. I get it. So you tell the young girls how to avoid all that fake stuff out there because you're single by choice. I get it. You're single by choice. So help him out. <laughs> ah, you know, this this single is whoo. All right. So who wants to be the first person to come? Now we're gonna we're gonna allow you to uh call in. You can call in. You know what? You don't even have to get on the show. I just want to hear from the ladies. I don't want to hear from any of the guys. I want to hear from the ladies who are like, man, I need you young, who's trying to tell you young women, you need to avoid all these crazy dudes and listen to me because we know what the deal is. I get it. Fellas, we're going to just sit back because the problem is, see, here's the problem. The problem, guys, is we have uh, we've we've kind of got out there. Um, and we got out there and, and said too much. So we're gonna let the ladies tell the ladies how to, to do this. Or tell me what I've got wrong. You welcome. You welcome to tell me what I've gotten wrong. You can tell me what I got wrong. And tell me, you know, psh, come on, dude. You know you out here lying. Ain't no ain't no man out here worth nothing. Y'all all trash. I get it. I get it. 615 people. Were, oh, 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 I'll be doggone if I answer one phone call. Oh, no. Y'all got me confused with somebody else. You go pimp your boyfriend. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. You go tell them good lies to somebody else. Nope. 
Y'all gonna sit over there in silence until y'all give me my money. We're gonna need 10 people to throw something in the bucket. Uh, I'm gonna need 10 people to throw something in there. I will cut the chat room off in 60 seconds. The chat room is getting shut off in 60 seconds. 50 now. Let me get on over to that button. There goes your chat. Play with me if you want me. Mm -mm. No. Oh, now we now we gonna start losing music. Now we start losing music. to donate I'm not going to donate to that I can have any man I want I'm fine right exactly we knew that we knew that right uh, what happened tell me where the last man whipped out a ring with one and a half carrots. Where did he propose to you? Tell me about the last time that happened. Oh, oh you had a spiritual engagement? That's what it was? A spiritual engagement? Okay. So you had a spiritual ring too, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Why Why? Why all these spiritual engagements? So how many spiritual engagements count as a real engagement? How many spiritual <laughs> How many spiritual engagements count as a real engagement? Um can you take a spiritual uh engagement ring to the pawn shop and uh get some money on that? Is that what happened? somebody tell me is there a lawyer in the house can you can you get money off of a spiritual uh spiritual engagement ring can you use that for anything i don't know if you can but um <laughs> See, what had happened was, you know, you're going to go put a down payment on the car. What, what you'd use it for collateral? Uh, 
I have a spiritual uh, princess cut four carat uh, diamond ring. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it would be valued at $14,000 by K Jeweler standards. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even Jared agreed. Right. Not the guy from Subway, the guy from the jewelry place. It's a spiritual ring, though. The spiritual ring. So you have to sit here with me. Let me hold your hands. Let me hold your hands. See, what we do is we hold hands together and we and we <laughs> and, and we manifest it. See? Num num you ring. Num num you ring yo. Mm. You feel it? You feel it coming? Oh my oh my hands. Oh dude. Oh didn't work. Damn. Spiritual engagement ring. Yeah, some but you single. Come on, man. Tell me what I'm wrong at. It's just not right that you saying this to us. It's hard out here for women. You know, these dudes ain't nothing. And you guys out here who are masters of the universe, working these 10, 12, 16 hour days, going to civilize the world and so well to where we don't even think we need you. Y'all actually want us to cook and smile and stay fit and friendly. You mean like other women that we envy? You want us to act like the women that we want to be like and the positions we envy. So let me get this right. You want me to actually be the thing I say I want? What kind of voodoo are you on? You out of your mind. No way in hell I'm going to become anything other than Donna Summon them. I am woman, hear me roar. All right, let's get it. What we're going to do is we're going to do it one at a time. We're going to put Gino back. We're going to put DeAndre back, and we're going to go straight with Alyssa. Uh, is that how I pronounce your name? How do I pronounce your name first? Alicia, what did I get wrong? Okay, I'll just oh, go ahead. I just want to know where, where you're at. With um what I'm calling for, like mm -hmm. the question. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm calling just um to see like I guess what I am doing and what I can avoid because I don't know if me having standards is getting in the way of finding the man that I want. Uh, so let me go ahead and see if I can repeat the question. You want to know if you having standards is preventing you from getting the man you want? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me start with some background. How old are you? I'm 26. Hmm. You heard me say it in the, in the chat room. Did you go to college? I did. But you didn't graduate? No, I just got my um, Associate of Arts. Okay, cool. Height, weight, and dress size? Um, So I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and my weight is 128 to 130. Okay. Depends. And what dress size do you wear? Like a four. Uh, and and lastly, um, what what part of the country are you in? North, east, south, west? Like um, like west coasts. West coast. Okay. And what kind of man do you want? Well, I like black men. Like that's like my first choice. But I'm like I don't mind swirling. Um, uh, okay, I'm talking about from uh, from a. On paper standpoint, what kind of money are we talking about? Oh, like about? success, like successful. Like I'm not really. Let's like... define successful. Do you want to be a okay. stay-at-home wife? Yes, I do. Okay. And do you want to have? How many children are you planning on having for this guy? Um. Just depends on how many he would want from uh, me. three. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you ain't got no, you got nothing else to do except stay at home. Twenty six. 
right? One kid, mm-hmm. you one kid, you be getting off pretty damn easy. Wouldn't you agree? Or would not? Tell me, what do you think? No, I think that's true. I think, you know. Okay. Mm. The average mm-hmm. family has 2.3 kids or 2.5 kids, but you talk about a successful guy. So a successful guy, are you in uh, Northern California or Southern California? Um, Northern. So in Northern California. Um, so to be a stay-at-home wife of three children in Northern California, how much do you think uh, a man would need to make annually to make that happen? For you to have a decent home, have your own four-door sedan, uh, to have the kids' college paid for, private school if necessary, uh, or high-end public school, you know, with kids' activities, uh, kids having cars at 16, having their college paid for if necessary, plus have the things of life, 401k, retirement, everything else, still being able to eat well, travel, you know, not just go to Disneyland. I'm quite sure you want to go out of the country maybe go to Europe on a family vacation, that kind of stuff, right? Right. Right. Okay, how much do you think that person needs to make, that man needs to make annually? Um, I would say a significant amount Give me a dollar value. Money. Give me a dollar value. <laughs> I'm not good at math. Like, probably, like, um, over 100000 maybe. I don't know, maybe, like, 80000 90000 over 100000 I'm not really sure. $100,000 a year for five people in Northern California. Okay, no. Oh, man. Okay, so I don't know. Mm. Okay, so problem number one. The thing you want you don't even know what it takes from a dollar standpoint to make it possible for a man to make it possible for you. Mm. You think this shit just is this magic. Let me give you the number. The number, they throw this six figure number out. That's enough for one person to be successful. Roughly a hundred, roughly $10,000 a month. That's the number I tend to use. That's in Dallas, Houston, Austin. If you adjust that for the Bay Area, you're hundred thousand dollars a year. You're still broke. You're talking about closer to two hundred and twenty, two hundred and fifty. There's a police officer in San Jose who made two hundred twenty-five, two hundred fifty thousand dollars last year, and he's a cop. Okay, so the kind of man you're talking about, he's going to need to be making around seven hundred to nine hundred thousand dollars a year. I'm open and, to relocating. Like, I don't have to stay. Like, I'm, I'm like, so open to moving somewhere Well, cheaper. do you think people make that kind of money in Cedar Rapids, Idaho, Iowa? No. Do you think there are a lot of black men? Black men are concentrated in 10 cities. See, this is part of the problem with young lady, well, ladies. You want this fantasy of a man, not a fantasy. You want this high, high-value man. These men, listen. These men are are concentrated in 10 cities. Black people are concentrated in 10 cities. Okay? And mm-hmm. I don't I don't fault you for wanting him, but I just say you got to understand where he is. And to 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 and to think a guy can make $80,000 and you would be happy with that kind of money. You'd be working on 80 grand. And then there'd be tension in the marriage. Uh, I forgot to ask you one question. On a scale from one to 10, where would most people say you rank as far as a beauty? Facial, from a facial standpoint. Like a nine or a 10, maybe an eight, if someone's hating on me. A nine or a 10. Okay, so we're talking LA nine or just? I just know I'm very beautiful and I'm not just saying that. Okay. I don't know. Hey, sis, I, I give it to you. So you get, these are good things. So from a, from a from a money standpoint, uh, the kind of money you're talking about is a guy who's going to, he's going to have to have a serious high earning career, or he's going to have to be a small business owner and own a, a significant concern. Um, that means you're going to be looking at men who are at least about 10, probably 15 years older than you. Oh, definitely. Okay. And, okay. and that's, the, that's what you're going to be looking for. But the question is, what do those kind of men want in a wife? Um, well, I would, I just, 
I know that they want, you know, someone who's just a lady. I would hope so because I'm really open to just being a lovely housewife and just doing what I need to do. Translation, to I'm, sure. I'm open to you taking care of me. That's what you just said. I'm open to just being, a, I'm open to you just taking care of me, which is cool. But what you've also said is you've done no homework or no research or no nothing on what it is you want. That's why you're not getting it. That's so, that's, that's like golden. That's yeah. So, that's true. This is why, this is why your non-black counterparts, your white counterparts steal black men like this out from under you. Because one, you don't even know how to identify them. Two, when they're there, you got no sales pitch. It's just I'm 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 pretty good. Okay, you're beautiful. You're be you're five foot whatever. You're dress size four. You are smoking. After we have sex, what else? Depth. Um, you know I, I don't I don't flaunt my my things that I know or my experiences, but I'm a deep person and I can hold a conversation and mm -hmm. I, like I make a lovely housewife, good mom, things like that. Were you, but were your parents, I, was I your mother, was your mother and father married? Uh, no. Well, yeah, my background is crazy, but okay. I am let divorced. Me, let me, let me, add, let me, let me simplify the question. Were you raised to be a housewife? No, I wasn't actually. So how can you talk about your lovely housewife? Because I was married before and okay. I saw what didn't work. And I was like, that's why I don't want to do, I don't want to go to work. Oh, I want to focus on. Oh, okay. Let, let's back up. See yeah, that, that was, the, that was an important part. You were married before. How old was your husband? <laughs> He's like 29 or something. How old were you? I got married when I was like 18 or 19. And where's your father? I didn't grow up with a father. I, I didn't say that. I asked where he is. Um, I don't have a very strong relationship with him. Why? Um, Because I was adopted. Okay. Do you know your biological mother? I do, yes. But you don't know your biological father? I do, but he's um, recently, like, got sick, and he's in the hospital. Like, he's, like, I just... Okay, I'm going to ask you a hard question. Are you ready? <laughs> sure. Do you know his side of the story from his mouth? Um, no, not really. Then why in the hell are you judging him? I'm not. Well, but you know your biological mother. You know, you're not judging him. But what I asked you, where, where's your father? I didn't grow up with a father. I didn't ask her. I said, where is he? Well, he wasn't in my life. I was adopted. Okay. But you know your biological mother. See, when I asked you about the woman that ra the woman that birthed you, you could answer those questions. But about your father, it's all this vague stuff. And my question is, why have you never sought to understand your father? Well, he was, the reason why I was adopted was because of. <laughs> um, Nobody knows you, sweetheart. I don't know you. Abuse, sexual abuse that was going on. I had six, I have five other biological sisters and we all got put in the system because he was sexually abusing my sisters. Okay. And that's why we got Well, then that's the cause. System. Then that's cause. That's different. That's, that's very, that's one of the few things I will accept. If there was actually a reason why you shouldn't, a safety reason, then there's no reason to interact with this person. But I would say, let's move on past that. If there was reason, because I don't want to dig too deep into it because it's not relevant. If there's a reason, there's reason. But you were adopted. Yeah. And you were raised by a, a mother and father or a mother? Just a mother. All right. So. You're raised by a mother, and and the reason I'm asking these questions: if you got married at 18 to a 29 year old, who, who, who uh, advised you on that? That's what I'm trying to get to. Nobody. Okay. Um, 
All right. Why? Where's? Whose advice do you seek in trying to guide you through life? Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't, I'm just kind of, I guess, learning through trial and error. That's point. very dangerous. Well, that's what I'm calling you. <laughs> well, but, you, but you, you're calling me, but you're not paying me. See, this is why I'm not going to give you this off. I don't, I mean, your circumstances, try, trying as they are, you're a 26 year old. You're not 14. You know your background, you know it's troubled. Are you seeing a therapist? I've done a lot of work. Okay. Is it? I've done a lot of work. Are you in a healthy place? I I am actually. All right. So, and you said you were married to a twenty nine year old. How long were you married? Like five years. So you've been divorced less than the, less than three years. Yeah. Okay. Any children? One. A boy or girl? He's a boy. Okay. Um, you're going to have a lot of problems. Really? Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes. No. I don't care how attractive you are. Your, ba your background, ma'am, is messy. What if I don't tell anybody, though? People aren't stupid. Especially the kind of man you're talking about, you want, and it makes you a horrible person. See, a person who's gone through therapy would not say that. A person who's in a healthy mind space would not think to try to deceive somebody. Well, just I mean, no one wants to know your whole life story, though. Like we're talking, no, no, we're talking, like we're that. talking about people who, no, man. So the only people we've been talking about is the kind of men that could provide for you and put you in a home and take care of you. Mm. But the real the real answer is yes. My background is messy. No, the work's not done. But I want what I want. So yeah, I would say the work's not done because that's not a that's not a healthy thing to say. That's a that's a predatory thing to say regarding another person. I'll just lie to him about my background. You're gonna lie to him about your kid too? No, I was just saying like just don't put an all all up on the table like well just, you may have about put it on the table right on the there. first date but it has to come out see you are who oh, you well, are yeah. you are who you are and the kind of men you're talking about did not get there by luck high earning men wealthy men successful men didn't get there by luck see that's why i started at the beginning do you even know how much money it would take and you don't which is kind of troubling because i wonder how you're even living with a child. I mean, are you, you got an, you got a, two years of college and associate's degree. Mm -hmm. How are you living in California? Well, I mean, technically I'm, I just, I'm technically not, I just didn't want to put like my, where I am. So, you know, I, I don't, but, but I mean, are you living? Do you, are you in your own place? I am. Yes. Are you paying the rent there in full yourself? Yes, I am. All right. And is your son provided for? Yes. All right. Is And is the father in the kid's life? Yes. And are you getting alimony or just child support? Child support. All right. So all that is a mess. Your child is young. There's not enough hotness to overcome young child from a divorcee with your background there, there are other women who are as hot or hotter than you that have none of that mm. that's number one number two there are other women out there who were raised to be a wife <clears throat> who have none of that number three there are other women out there who at least understand what the man on the side of the table that you want to come take care of you and another man's child would have to do to make that happen. In effect, mm. you want a fairy godfather is what you want. Mm -mm. Okay. You don't like the words, but that's really what it is because 
Nothing because you don't know who he is. He's just a genie. What do you do for a living? I'm a receptionist and I do nails on the side. So, um, you ready for this? Um, I don't know. I, I sure, sure. I mean, well, the receptionist, yeah, receptionist, re receptionist, and nails on the side. That's not enough to even provide for one person in California if that's where you live. Mm -hmm. You have a child. Mm -hmm. It means you can't take care of yourself. Okay. Is that? I mean, I, I do, but okay. Okay. How can, do you make enough money to take care of yourself without the child support? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, where do you live? Because this makes no sense, but go ahead. Well, I don't want to give up my location. I don't care, ma'am. <laughs> what do you think? I've got, why, did, why, why? You called into, a, you, just... hold on, you called, hold on, let's understand. You called into my show. Oh my ask me questions you're that you're, you're not paying for. Don't play with me. I don't have, I don't have no need to know who you are or where you're at. It's not that serious. But what I'm I trying know. to understand is whether or not you're telling me the truth. And there's this holes in this story. Are you in the Bay Area? That's all I need to know. No. I'm not. I'm in a small, small town. All right. But it's still Northern California. No, it's not California. I just threw that out there. Like, I just, I'm All right. Crazy. So you're fucking lying to me. I'm not lying to you. Like, I All right. You have one chance. You have one chance to go ahead and tell me where you are. I don't play games, man. Don't do this. I'm not, I'm not playing games with you. Tell me where you are, the area, or get off my fucking phone. Seriously. I mean, you're too old to be doing this stuff. You want my help? Let me help you. If not, go figure it out yourself. Washington State. See, you know why that's important, what I just said, ma'am? Why? You're a... When I said <clears throat> your your background is a mess, you said, why don't I just not tell him? You are willing to lie to a man to get what you want. You just proved it with me. I'm better at it than most men and I'm dogged about it and I can smell bullshit. But you are willing to lie to someone to get what you want. And I don't care where you live in Washington State. High earning women are not receptionists and nail techs. Those are women that live around the poverty level. The only way people tend to make live, I mean, you're not making $40 an hour as a receptionist. Mm -mm. Right. So that means in order to take care of a small child, you're having to either get significant child support or some sort of assistance, or you must be living in a hovel somewhere. Either or, you're living paycheck to paycheck without a, without a, the government or a man supporting you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I do. Like I said, I do nails on this side. Right. So is his yeah. is his father? His father is gainfully employed. Your ex husband gainfully employed. Mm -hmm. What does he do for a career? He's a police officer. How come I, I that was going to be my guess? <laughs> Woo, that was going to be my mm. I'll tell you guys why I knew that. I'll tell you guys why I knew that later. Um, why didn't he have custody of the boy? Um, because I do. Oh, we were, we, he was in the military when we got married. And we moved to his hometown, which was not in Washington State. I don't care. I, and when I, we got I, I asked you what. He makes more money than you. Why didn't he have? Why didn't he have the boy? Um, because he wasn't a police officer when we got divorced. But he is now, and he makes more money yeah. than you, and he has benefits. Why doesn't he have the boy? Um, because he has two other children. I'm what the sure. fuck? What, what does that have to do with anything? Why doesn't he have his son? He's the more stable. He has benefits. It would make it easier for you to get what you want.
I, yeah, but I just, I guess I just like being a mother. No, that's not it. He's a check. You may love being a mother, but you cannot raise a man. You never even saw a man. You obviously Ew. don't, hold on. You obviously don't pick well. You have not made the best choices for your life. And you think you're going to be able to help a boy become a man. And you're the only one leading you. No one else is leading you. Ma'am, this is problematic at best. Boys need their fathers. But as a woman who did not have a father, it doesn't surprise me that you just think guys are just genies. And no disrespect, but I feel like I'm talking to like a teenager at some levels. So I'm going to tell you, you, the boy would be better off with his father. I don't know why the man didn't petition for custody of his child because you can't care for him. You're a nail technician uh, and a receptionist. It will be better for you to give the son over to his father and you pay child support and let him be raised by a man who has a career and benefits. You get yourself together and give yourself the best shot to date because high value men, men with money, you'll be a side chick. They will have sex with you. They'll tell you things, but ma'am, you are a bad investment. Just from a practical standpoint, the fact that you have a child and all these other yeah. loose ends. And then you mix in the, if the abuse thing is real, which I don't have any reason to doubt, but the deception you've played around here is how you move through the world. Men aren't suckers, man. Especially successful ones. Last question about your son. If this is how you think about men, what do you think that's going to do to his what his view of manhood? If what is how I think about men? Well, you've not really said anything positive about us. I mean, you you want to lie Nothing to us? Positive. Yeah, you mean you, you, it's not come across as a as a positive situation. I mean, you were married. Um. Do you think you're the best? Fam you do you think he's going to become a better man under you than under his father? My son. Uh huh. I think so. I really do. I do. I I, you, I try but, to give myself. But do you do you know this? Do you, but you do you know the data on the matter? The data. I mean, I understand that you know it's just single moms in general is not ideal. No, it's not. It's beyond not ideal. Um, yeah. I'm assuming you're. You're black? Mm -hmm. Is his father yeah. black? I'm sorry, what is it? Is his say? father black? Yes. Okay. Go look up the statistic for single mother raised black boys. I will do that. Uh, well, all you have to do, you don't have to go that far. I'll tell you. They're at the bottom okay. of the barrel. Reading at a fourth grade level. Single mother raised black boys are in some of the most precarious positions of any person on this planet. And man, due respect, you have two years of college and just a, a job. And he would be in a better position. Is his father active in his life? Like, does he see him every um, other weekend? Or, I mean, is he... Or do you just have custody well, and he's getting, a, you just have full custody and you get a check? No, we do like, um, like he has visitation because we don't live in the same state. Right. So, you know, it's like the holiday thing, summer. But you lived in the same state when you were married. Yeah. Why'd you move, and then I moved. why'd you move away from the father? I didn't want to, but it was because my family. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh
Let's stop right there. You were a wife. I don't want to hear shit about the family. Your family is now your husband and your child. Who filed for the divorce? I did. Why? Because he had a, a child. Excuse me? He got someone pregnant. During the marriage? Yeah. Okay. Keep going. So I filed for a divorce and... And are you better off now than you were when you were married? I am, yes. Financially? Yes, I would say so. No, no, I... no, 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 ma'am. The, the numbers are real clear. So your <laughs> husband had an affair and got someone pregnant, right? Right. So you filed for divorce. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what state is your husband in? Your ex-husband? Oh, uh, um, Oklahoma. What, welcome. Oklahoma. And I'm from there. And you're in Washington State, right? I am. So that's at least a four-hour flight. Mm -hmm. How often does your son see his father? Um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, summertime. Does he have and... full summers? Yes. So, and, so he sees his son during the summertime. Yeah. And then the remainder of the year, he's with you. That's correct. And you took your son, you took his son away from him. For what? Um, you say something about your family. What about it? They were in the state you know, of Washington, but, um, yeah. No, I don't, that's, that, that's not an answer. You were in Oklahoma. I didn't want to get divorced. I didn't want to leave. You filed for divorce, ma'am. What do you think happened? Yeah. The divorce fairy made you do it? Ma'am, you were in Oklahoma. You filed for divorce and you went to Washington. Why did you move to Washington? Because that's where my support was at the time. Right. Right. Your, your family, your support. So um, Oklahoma's cheaper than the state of Washington. Number one. And this doesn't sound like your family is that strong or stable. So you moved, you moved. And now uh, are you getting a lot of help from your mother? Because there's no father. Um, no, I actually, my, my adopted mom, she doesn't talk to me anymore. None of my. So you know, you're in Washington by yourself. Yeah, no, I am. All right. But so listen, 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 yeah. listen, ma'am. This is why I say this is a mess. Everything you've told me continues to unravel. Here's what it is. Your husband committed adultery. It hurt. You, you decided to make an emotional decision. You filed for divorce and you punished him and did what was good for you. So you thought and you took his child from him. And you made him become a part-time father and you was making your son suffer that. Only seeing his father in the summertime. And what do you have to show for it? A job as a, a nail tech and a receptionist and nothing else. This is bad. That's why I said, I don't need to know all the, the, in, the ins and outs, but he would be better off with his father in Oklahoma than with you. You've made all these decisions, ma'am, outside of your husband having an affair. But then you turn around and say you didn't want to file for divorce. You didn't want to divorce your husband, but you did. Mm-hmm. When I say I didn't want to, it was more like, like I wanted to and I did, but it wasn't like I would love, I wanted a family, but I just can't. But you that. ended it. But You ended your I know, family. And I, yeah, and, and I don't necessarily regret that because he wasn't you know of course not because you have no idea what a family is ma'am and this is why i said ma'am i feel like i'm talking to a teenage girl i didn't want to find i didn't want I, I, listen it's not an insult man go look at what the women are typing in the chat room when this show's over if 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 i'm off they'll tell you but what you're saying no, i understand what you're saying i get it I'm so kidding. you are you are you've gone you you've had a a, a complex upbringing you no one you're under no one's leadership. There's no one helping you. 
nothing. And you're on a coast by yourself, raising the most vulnerable type boy there is in this country. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. You can barely take care of you. Let me also say this. If you weren't as attractive as you are, would you be able to make some of the moves you do? Like what moves? Uh, well, I don't know if when I'll go there. Um, scratch that. I mean, I would say I have the privilege, you know, they talk about. You have pretty you know, privilege. That's what you have. Yeah. So people do stick for you that they wouldn't do for an unattractive woman, but that shit runs out. I understand. Mm -hmm. So the net net of it, ma'am, is let me let me let me level let me level set this for you. The moment you said I do, you became a wife. Put up the little girl, put everything else. You made an oath and you decide to break that oath. You decide to break it. Your husband cheated on you. He broke your he broke his vow. You broke your covenant. You broke your covenant with God with your man. That's what you chose to do. If you're a Christian, uh the whole curse thing that you're living more into that than your ex. Then you took his son from him. You didn't do it for his son's benefit. You did it for you. Ma'am, you're selfish. Everything you've been saying is about you and what you want. And I, that's why I said you still need to be in therapy. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. And you don't need to be parenting this boy by yourself. He's the one that's going to suffer. Okay. That's why I say, why not just send him back to his father? But unfortunately, women like you feel like doing that is like a failure or if I don't have this, I have nothing. It's not a puppy. He's a boy. I know he- I understand. And you would be better off by sending him to his father because you'd have a, a his your son would have a fighting chance. Right now, ma'am, you can't provide. Yeah, no, I know. Is, is your father is your ex husband remarried? Um, he's not remarried, but he does have a girlfriend and they do have two other children. I, I don't care about um, the other children, ma'am. I really don't. All I care about is your ex-husband remarried. No. Is your ex-husband, are you guys on a, uh, on a reasonable page? Well, we kind of are. Uh, okay. So this has really helped me. Listen, listen, we're... listen. This is what I'm asking you. I don't care about who he fucked and however many kids he has. Get over it. Really, get over it. You have a, hu am. You have a husband and he's still tolerating this shit. I oftentimes it's best for men and women, husband and wife to reconcile because let me tell you why men like me, I, there's no way in heck guys like me would take a woman like you seriously. It's not though you're not a beautiful woman, but it's just, it's too much, too complicated. It's just far too complicated. You have a marriage and a child. When you decide to get married, you decide to put up the girly things. When you decide to get have the child, life became about that boy. Mm -hmm. um, if you can resolve uh, uh, resolve with your ex, th that would be more the more likely scenario. I know there'll be some women saying, "No, oh, don't do that. He cheated on her. You you've been married. You got a kid. Don't listen to people who ain't been in this fight." Mm -hmm. because what's the alternative? Can you really see a life in Washington, D.C. where you have a, a job or a career that you can provide well for you and your son? Washington State. Washington State. Um, Washington State. I, you know, I, I do. Eventually. What kind of skills uh, do you have? <laughs> um... Just basic skills. Clerical skills. You're an unskilled labor. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, ma'am. You are unskilled labor. You don't have a college degree. Unskilled, you know, just like 
You're unsc- I do. I have an associate's degree. I have my associate's in An associate's in what? Associate's in arts. It's just like a gen- I was. It's the one you get before you go towards a four year. Right. It's an associate. An associate's it. degree and an associate's in arts. Yeah. Okay. And ma'am, what does an associate in arts command on the free employment market? Well, I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably get a job in like social work or not being a social worker, but working with, you know, people like, like that. Um, you say you can get a job as a social worker with an associate in art. Kind of like a peer counselor. Oh. Cause I, I did okay. do a lot of work. And how much money do those people make? Not a lot. And it's not worth it to me not a lot of money i don't know so, man when i said you're an unskilled worker why did that offend you when you have a degree that won't even allow you to get a an okay job ma'am i guess because i just i don't know it's because it's honest. true you have no science engineering technology and math accounting mm-hmm. medicine uh, law Those are careers you have basically what accounts to a high school diploma plus. Yeah. Unskilled labor. Oh, gosh. Wow. Why is that? Okay. Listen and hear. You have no skills. That's why you are a receptionist. What is it required? What what skills are required to be a receptionist? Um, you know, answering phones, being organized. Right. Basic um, clerical skills. Stuff that's not changed since the 1910s. And you don't even have to type or file anymore. You are a woman, 26 years old, completely out of uh, uh, completely without anyone covering you. No one's covering you. No one's protecting for you, providing, teaching. You're out here making it up as you go. And that's fine. But it's not because you got a little boy. He suffers all your mistakes times 10. And you're talking as though just because you have the power of wish and sunshine that you can make it happen. And no, ma'am, you can't. Four million people have applied for unemployment insurance since COVID and you honestly think you're going to be able to get a job when people who have actual skills are losing their jobs in this new market. You're too naive to even know what you don't know. And you have a boy. Did you hear what I just said? Did that make sense? It makes perfect sense. It really, really does. And I think the reason why I'm just kind of like um, not thinking I'm I'm just like, okay, is because um, I just kind of, I am, like I do nails on the side. So I do have a little bit of like a side hustle. And, you know, I I want to like have my own like little, um, little business where I earn my own income. And I don't work for anyone because it's just like, that's just how I am. I can't, I'm just a little bit, you know, but I, I do take care of my business. I do handle my business and things like that. So it's like, I understand what you're saying. And I know I sound like a 12 year old. Yes, ma'am, you do. I'm not that. No, ma'am, because if you just said, I know I do nails on the side, understand something. Filipino, Vietnamese women who don't speak English come to this country and do that. It doesn't require a lot of skill to do that. You are effectively a day laborer. And you want that job that you like doing because it makes you cash. And you can feel like you make money every day because it's cash. That's that's why a lot of women like you wait tables. Because if you didn't do this, your options would be the strip club or prostitution. I'm going to get real with you. Those are your options. 
Because what you want to do, no one's one's going to listen, ma'am. What you want to do, no one's going to hire you for. You want to make being a nail tech a career. It's a job that you can do in any podunk town. And you can go to Walmart and be a nail technician, ma'am. They got a little salon there in Walmart. You ain't going to make $75,000 a year as a part-time nail tech. Mm -hmm. You have no skills. You have no plans. You're, and at this point, ma'am, you're dangerous to yourself because you're talking about, well, I like to just have my own little side hustle to where I can possibly flip this into a, a job and make my own business because that's just how I am. Yes, you're a free spirit, unstructured woman who needs a strong man to take care of you because you are incapable of doing it for yourself. If no one's told you, I'm going to tell you. You're incapable of taking care of yourself. You sound like a teenager. And the problem is you have a boy who's what? Two? Three? No, he's six. Six? Mm -hmm. So he's at the... (laughs) He's six. Yes. When we go back to school... Don't be surprised if you start seeing a, a little hellion with disciplinary problems. I'm gonna I'm gonna really sleep on the advice about you know his father. I think a lot of the things that you said is true. I don't want to be a selfish parent, and I I have this pandemic. I have been a little bit struggling and things like that, and I I did kind of consider myself like I don't necessarily want to be a failure, but I don't want to be selfish. So I'm going to really take that. Failure, failure, failure happens when you look at the truth and you decide to stick your head in the sand like an ostrich and hope it goes away. That's the only way to fail. Okay. Is to make an emotional decision versus just saying, you know what? It's not ideal. Oklahoma, Washington, uh, uh, look, it would be better for you to be in the same state with your ex-husband because at least you'd have some help. And at least cost of living is lower. Uh, trust me, you'd be better off there. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Keep in contact. Let me know how it goes, though. But um, but you really need to take into consideration. You don't. I don't think you understand what's about to happen with this economic market. They're not. The, the jobs just aren't there, ma'am. It's not what it was in February. The world has forever changed. And we haven't even scratched the surface of what happened. Is Washington off lockdown? We're like phase two. Okay. So like our new, yeah. Here in Atlanta, here in Atlanta, I was in Neiman Marcus the day they shut everything down. Neiman Marcus announced that it was looking to, to file bankruptcy. Long and short of it, is Neiman Marcus is probably is going to cut about 40%. All those people in retail, those millions and millions of women out there who have who have more skills than you, more work history. I'm not it's not funny, ma'am. It's not funny, ma'am. When the when the when the when the uh um when unemployment runs out and all that runs out, see what this country has never seen is never seen homeless women. But we're going to see homeless women because there's not enough jobs for all of these unmarried, unattached women. We are not meant to be by ourselves. Ma'am, you have zero support and you're an unskilled laborer. You might as well be an illegal immigrant with your, with your skill sets. You, 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 think that's, you think that's hyperbolic. But I need you to understand what I said. But for the fact that you speak the language and you graduated from here on paper, you have literally no skills that a, in, that an illegal immigrant to this country, someone coming up from Mexico or coming on, over the border or off the boat, you're doing unskilled work. And you're not going to college to get a degree or going to get any certification. So you're not going to get any more skills. 
So, and to think I'm going to turn this unskilled thing into a hundred thousand dollar year hustle is folly. You got a lot of serious thinking to do, man. And you better, you got to hurry up and do it because you got a boy. But uh, I'm I'm going to say on what I say. You, you need to you need this you need to talk to his father and and especially and, and last thing and I got to run. You do realize that a boy only needs his mother up to the age seven. After age seven, he needs his father more than he needs his mother. Okay. That's been his. That's since the dawn of time. Hell, the, the ancient Spartans mm-hmm. even figured that out. Well, no one told me that. So, I mean, it's really good to know. Okay. All right. So, thank you so much All right, for your time and advice. Bye bye. All right, man. Wow, that just went completely off the rails. Uh, whoa. Look, man. Um, <sighs> okay. Um, Shout out to the caller. Guys, I don't, I, I I, think, guys, when you hear that kind of stuff, your initial reaction is like, ah, ha, ha, chickens are coming home to roost. These women are going to get their comeuppance now and blah, blah, blah. But there's a kid involved in here too, man. I know we're going to like, oh, don't, don't cape and blue. Understand something. We're in uncharted territory. With the, the amount of people who don't have jobs, we're the logical ones. A lot of women really believe that it's just going to work out, especially attractive women or women who have pretty privilege. If she stays in Washington state, she can look forward to being a side chick. Cause you all heard that story. You all heard it. And some of the things I was saying, she didn't want to hear it, but she had already thought about it. That's why when I said it, she's like, oh, sometimes we need to hear these things. But but count out, I mean, shout out to her for at least calling in. But you, you, you <laughs> this is why I'm so against that lone. Remember, guys, when I talked about stop being this lone wolf dude and y'all got mad at me? Ah, I'm a loner, loner, loner. See what happens when you make when you're all by yourself. All right. All right. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, I kind of got all off the subject. I was on 30, attractive, single as single by choice. So let me explain also why I said what. Uh, let me talk to this women with children. The, the, the women with children. It's Friday night. You you have a broken family. You're not a baby mama. You're not a single mother. You got a broken family. Go to your, your child's father and work it out. Humble yourself and see can't you work something out with him. Because don't nobody want him and don't nobody want you. Like you two could work with each other. You had the kid. You had the kid. That should not be insulting to say to somebody. She sounds pretty. She's pretty. Sound mixed. Adopted. The best bet is to marry another soldier. Get back at that cop. Uh, I don't. She needs to get away. Well, that military. I. I I, I, it didn't surprise me the military or police officer thing came up. I've seen this play before. Um, whew, I need to take another call. I mean, that was that was a bit much. Um, so what, ladies? If you're attractive, but you're over thirty, single as, but you're single by choice. Are you really? That was the point. Can you really make the things happen that you say you can? I mean, it's easy to say, 
look at me. I look good. And all I got to do is get out here. People want to have, yeah, they'll have sex with you, but can you make somebody want to wife you? And if so, why haven't you? Daddy issues. There are a lot of issues, but when she also got, let's not forget that she said that there was some, um, some, some, some abuse early on. Um, that's why I left that completely alone. You know, I typically go for when I heard that. That's just a no go. I'm not. A, I'm not a pro. I don't go down that path and that kind of stuff. But that it has been my personal lived experience that oftentimes that requires lifelong. Uh, Therapy and maintenance. It's not just off own. You just, you, it's a consistent thing. Now, shout out to Tom Likas. You know, he's always, he's still in therapy. Well, that's true, Hydell. Don't nobody want him. Don't nobody want you. They don't. That's why these single people, these these kid, people with kids, y'all need, y'all need to work that shit out. Work that shit out, man. Be the best. Oh. Uh, what's going on? Um, Nike Gum. Nak, I don't know how to pronounce it. Nike Gama. And then in the chat room, we have Daz and Tony. Uh, hello? You done mute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Nakagama. Uh, uh, Elsa. I'm going to give the women priority. Do. Elsa. Elisa. Hello. Elisa. Kids are playing music. Hello. 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 My child is playing music. <clears throat> Anthony was going to open it. So, Jessica. You're up next. Are you up next? Women really don't like being independent. No, they think they do. See, if this was 40 years ago, a woman like that could have found a, a stepfather um, and, and probably been all right, but not, not these days. Not like they used to be. Jessica, you need to unmute yourself. Jesse, Jesse Stark. Jesse. All right. Violet. All right. Yeah, people, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Violet. Yes. What do you got for me? Boy, how did Okay, to the people in the chat room. To the people in the chat room, Violet, I need you to unmute yourself. You're up next. Linda Carroll, I see you. What do you got for me, Violet? There we go. Oh my god. Uh uh lower hand jesse i'm going to go ahead and allow you to unmute while linda's getting together boy i swear turn the camera on no thank you I don't, I'm not going to turn your camera on. Nope. Mm-hmm. 
said, Jesse, you want me to turn your camera on? Why? I don't trust you folks until I know you. <laughs> right. Violet, wake up. All right, Jesse. You have five seconds to unmute or you're going away. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye, Jesse. See, you got people coming over who just want to, they want to think they want to get on the camera and just act crazy. Guest. Who's guest? Ah, well, I'll try it. Sure, go ahead. Let's try this. All right. You're going to have to unmute yourself. Ask to unmute yourself. There you go. You need to unmute yourself, guest. What do you got for me? All righty. Yep, you get to go bye bye too. Uh, clicking through them, they want to show. Well, they're not going to have a chance though. Uh, poor Shaquille. You know, any woman named after Shaquille O'Neal got to be finished. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Hello, Kevin. Kevin, you Yeah. All right. Better luck next time. Oh, you're a bunch of weirdos, Dora. Bunch of weirdos. Don't you guys figure out this is not going to work? <laughs> See, Shaquille. Why don't you bring your big ass on the show and tell me why you ain't married? I mean, Shaquille's pretty big. Can you imagine Shaquille as a sunflower? Why don't you get on the show and tell us, even better, put your husband on. Oh, shit. Damn. We know she ain't. You know a woman with name. You know somebody with the name Shaquille Sunflower. Ain't never had no parts and no husband. Engagement proposal. That's why she mad. Woo! She mad coming over here. Stop! Stop brown nose and black women. Oh, sweetie, I know it's it's sad out there when you look like you do. But uh, hello, uh, hello. Um, do you like uh dig up your arm? It's sad out there for you. It's sad. I need better trolls, man. I mean, you guys are pretty sad. And especially the guys who are trolling. You know how pathetic you have to be to troll a guy who's obviously doing better than you? Who can actually show his work and you got... Th th this, is, this is what happens when the separation starts between the extreme and the people in the middle. See, they're they're a little on each side. The funny thing is, you get these 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 lames and then the sunflowers, and they can go out and make a whole little dysfunctional, uh, precious little community. They could do they they could really work. See, I I would wish we could go back to the time where we actually had some shame. Well, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy 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 what the heck I don't know man it's sad <laughs> big as she want to be she, she ain't gonna bring her big ass over here she knows she can be like how you gonna call me big did you see that avatar when your avatar is like I tell you, what I said earlier, when your avatar is your whole face, it's kind of sad, man. And they ain't going to get mad at me. I didn't do it. 
You push away from them, t- you know, collard greens, greens, tomatoes, tomatoes, hams. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dang. I want beans, greens, tomatoes, acres, hams, pams, spam. Big Jill Scott wanna be. What's her Instagram? Her, <laughs> I'm a hog. At I'm a hog. At I'm a H O G. At I'm a hog. I want beans, peas, tomato, pam, spam. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dang! Roasting you in a suit on Friday night. Beans, greens, tomatoes, spam, ham, jam. <laughs> oh my, 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 my! But here's the thing: upside. The women who are over 30, attractive, single AF. What brought all this up? Uh, B. Simone is what brought all this up. B. Simone brought all this up. And I will tell you, like I said yesterday, B. Simone can win. B. Simone, make no mistake, B. Simone can win. All it takes for Women like her, who are, you know, sixes or sevens, cutish, is to go ahead and stop digging. That's all it takes. Because what men, what men are really asking you ladies for is not a lot. They're not asking you for a lot. They're asking you just for, can you be cooperative? See, my, my question is this. You've tried everything. Donald Trump said, ladies, feminine, beautiful, inspirational, cooperative, submissive. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? You've already tried everything else. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? I mean. Can you be? What do you have to lose? You're going to have to get quicker than that, troll boy. Go now go make you another fake account so I can do this over and over and over. Now, see, what he has to do is he's trying to make fake accounts with one hand because he got the lotion over here in the sock. He's doing, he's doing double duty because he's over here getting off on this. Woo! So, I understand. It's rough out there. <laughs> and tomorrow morning when we wake up and do suits Saturday he can't even afford a pair of shoes poor baby see I let I let trolls come in if you don't have trolls if you don't have haters you're not doing something the trolls come out at night the trolls come out at night. What, 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 what? They always come out. Why do trolls come out? Cause, thank you. They got a crush on me. I mean, you sh- are, are you serious? They're like, damn, I wish I could be like this dude. I wish I could be like some of these CIA dudes up in here. I wish I could be like some of these guys over here that the women are talking to. But all I got to do is I come in here and just make an ass of myself. I can't even come over to a place with over a thousand people and talk to folks and have a conversation. The best I can do is get up here and try to make an ass out of myself for like 30 seconds. Po babies. Po po babies. I'm a firm believer, ladies. If you are cute, you got a shot. Stop digging. If other women are getting it done, do what they're doing. You want to become a pick me. I mean, has any guy ever asked yourself why a woman would not want to be a pick me? We use some of the strangest disses on this side. You want people to call you a pick me, ladies. Why is a pick me an insult? Is being called a provider an insult to a man? I mean, seriously. 
I'm seriously. He's a pick me. Oh, okay. Uh, incels. Now, don't give these incels a bad name. These these dudes are just weirdos. See, weirdos have always existed. Incels like women. Incels want women. Define pick me. I don't know. Go ask one of them women that always use that term. Incels like women. Incels want women. That's what they want. Incels like women and want women. They just can't get them. Um, they like they like they like women and they can't get them. That's all it gets right down to it. It gets right down to it. They like women. They just can't get them. Mm-hmm. They they can't. And I feel sorry for these guys because, you know. If you're a woman and can't get a guy, a woman, a woman can always get sex, but that's not what you want. But when I tell you one thing is all the antisocial behavior you see a lot of times online. These guys are see, I feel bad for a lot of these guys because all this stuff is really just a cry for help. Incels on that. Uh, I, I wouldn't I, I work with incels, man. I'm going to tell you not incels aren't losers. They've been mischaracterized. Uh, but it's it's the wrong show for that. I will tell you this though: trolls are broken. You don't see men who are happy or successful. You don't feel men who are happy or successful, who are doing that stuff, man. You just don't. You don't see men who are happy or successful. That's what it is. You don't see men who are happy or successful who are just upset. That's why that old dude that went off in the BMW, you imagine how angry and hurt you had to be to go off and start, you know, spraying people. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. All right. We're going to get up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. This was a fun show. Shout out to the caller. I hope all the best for you. I truly do. I truly do. Y'all don't understand something Anthony a lot of you guys don't understand who incels are and you do more damage than good when you just keep on saying stuff if you don't really actually know incels then what what good does it serve you to to just kind of throw stuff out like there at them do you know any 40 year old virgins I've worked with them they're not single mother red uh led losers but you know what? You have an opinion. It's like an asshole. Everybody's got one. Anyway, I got to get up out of here. Oh, yeah. She about to be over here anyway. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, I got a little something about to happen. So uh, I ain't no incel. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I hope you guys have a good night. Be safe. Peace. We are gone. This is just your opportunity to drag single mothers. If that's all you got out of this, stupid, leave my show. Let me go ahead and help you out. This was just an opportunity to drag single mothers. You're too dumb to be on my show. Bye. You're too dumb to be on my show. Let's stop crying. Did you hear that woman crying? She just felt, she feeling the same way. She's projecting. She, she's projecting. You know, ain't nobody drug her ass out nowhere. When's the last somebody drug you out on a date? When's the last, somebody, when's the last time somebody drug you to the store to buy you some uh, red bottoms? When's the last some, time somebody drug you out for a steak? Drag your big old ass out yourself. <laughs> Ah, oh, she mad. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs>